Welcome to the Virtual DJ Getting Started series. In this video, we'll show you some of the more advanced deck features, including switching to the default skin to enable more controls, show you how to set and trigger loops, how to enable different deck effects and change their settings, a quick touch on using the performance pads, and finally using the track EQs. Now, in order to show more of Virtual DJ's advanced features, you will first need to change from the Welcome skin to our default two-deck skin. Now, to do this, simply click in either deck on the text that says, if you want to see more features, then click here. Now, let's take a closer look at some of these new deck features that are available to us. The box with text is now replaced with three sections, loop controls, the deck's effect slot, and the performance pads. Now to showcase how these all work, let's first load a track into the deck using the browser. Once we have a track loaded, go ahead and press play. First, let's show you how to loop. To create a loop, simply click on the number in the loop section. Virtual DJ will now loop the audio by the number of beats that's shown. Also, when you create your first loop, a pop-up window will appear and ask if you want to loop forward or backwards. My current preference is to loop backwards, so I will just click OK and close the window. You can also alter the length of the loop by clicking on the arrows next to the beat number. The left arrow will half the number of beats, while the right arrow will double it. When you are ready to exit the loop, simply click on the beat number again. You can also manually set a loop by pressing the loop in button and the loop out button. To exit the loop, press loop out again. To change loop options like smart loop, quantizing, and others, click on this radio button here. Next to the loop controls is the effect section. To enable an effect, click on the effect name. Now to change the effects parameters, adjust the controls shown below. To disable the effects, click on the effects name again. To change to a different effects, click on the drop down arrow and select a new effects. To see the effects' full range of settings, click on the plus button and it will show in the side view. You can also undock and pin this window by clicking here and moving it around on your screen. If you want to use multiple effects at the same time, then click on the effects header bar to switch to multi effects mode and to be able to control three effects all at once. To seamlessly jump around in the track, click on the waveform display in the deck and playback will continue from that point on beat. The performance pad section of each deck offers a wide variety of trigger pad controls including hot cues, loop rolls, the slicer, and many others. To change to a different bank of trigger controls, click on the drop down arrow and select a new bank. And finally, Virtual DJ features the classic three-band equalizer for each deck in the mixer section. Here you can boost or cut the track's high, mid, or low frequencies. Also available is the ever-popular high-pass or low-pass filter control knob. Now that you know where all of the cool and advanced controls are, we invite you to jump in, play around, and get creative. That'll do it for this Getting Started video. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series so that you too can get to know your way around Virtual DJ.